very well. Oh man, it's just scary for me, Jordan. That's the whole thing at the end of the day. Indeed, well, indeed. Well, we head on to Dance 2, map number one between Tyloo and Global Esports. It's a big one for Global, a tough task ahead, but maybe they can get over the line if Tyloo falters. Well, let's see how it goes. Tyloo opting to start on the CT side, it seems. And Global, what are they going to be able to do? Looks like one set of util is going to be picked up by Health there. And over to Long. It's going to be thrown, but it looks like it's a fake. Global sending it towards lowers. Tyloo, however, aggressing into upper dark here. Deathmaker. Can he slow this one down? Nice shot coming out from slowly, but it is going to be a trade from Lightning Fast. And that's going to be the bomb found. If he backs off, he might just be able to hold control. Somebody at the top of mid just happily fighting for his life now. And he's just going to sit here at suicide, allow some time for Dan King. However, he's not going to sit at suicide, continuing to overextend. It's looking like Global may just pick up the round in the 2v4, but you can't write off Summer and Dan King yet. Not just yet, but if they walk into these angles that are being held quite well, then they will definitely lose eventually. So nice little pistol round so far from Global as they're just pretty much waiting for Tyler to push in, which is some good stuff. That's what I mean. That's the, the first step. Take the pistol. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see Tyloo force here. <laughs> which, uh, out comes the scouts, out comes the Deagle. So once again, probably like you have to try to hold on for about three to four rounds at the moment before you're able to then have to start figuring out exactly what you need to do to, to push your way forward. One thing to note as well, Lightning Fast, I think this is the first time that we've seen a competitive uh, game from him on HLTV. So. Well, what we just saw as well is nice. what I was saying in the uh, pre-show is that Tyloo, they came out of the gates and Global managed to at least show them that they need to show a bit of respect. However, Tyloo, they are just going to be trying to win this one with the force buy. Yeah, I mean, we just saw just what happened just then. It was like two, I think it was like Summer that was swinging mid. It's a nice shot from Caramel, but then... Dan King decides to strafe out again, 22 HP and just completely delete him. So <laughs> yeah. it's kind of like that case of, look, Tyler is still swinging and somebody's going to push forward now. Now aim him there with the CC and <laughs> finds himself a headshot. Hell Ranger able to go for the trade though. So Global, keep it to the 3v3 and it is very close in terms of HP. So anyone's round really. Yeah, Global, they are fully expecting this aggression. Look where Hellfighter uh, Hellfight, has been standing, just at the back of Upper Dark, waiting for some over-aggression. Tyloo, they did it in the previous round, and he's expecting it again. Yeah, and it's just uh, down to the case of Global don't really have any map control at the moment, so they're flashing into Upper Dark at this stage. Well, that might be enough to maybe draw out a rotation, but they still need to get through Attacker, who has that Helmet and Deagle, and HE Grenade as well with 35 seconds left. It's up to Attacker to hold here. Over on the A site. Trying to play a nice off angle. Can he find a head smoke on the cross? Enough to trigger the rotation with 19 seconds remaining. Global need to get their way up to the site. Now Attacker fully blinded. Great utility use for Global. They've left it very late. Still maintaining control of the site as they take Attacker down. It is going to be Dan King and slowly. Oh no, that's another one. bomb plant. <gasps> Oh, no, no one's actually it. gone for it. Oh, they were too far away. <laughs> they were too scared. And that is a perfectly placed nade. And they let the lowest HP member try to take the deal. So Tyler actually managed to swindle a round away. Look, Global, at the very least, they can take the two AK-47s forward. But that is... Oh, well, that's unfortunate for Global. But Tyler just well played in terms of the utility usage as well. Like, at the end of the day... I think Global did very well to get on the site, and they just forgot one little thing and got punished for it. Not much you can really do against that HE, though, except have more HP. Well, looks like Tyler continuing the over-aggression. Somebody straight up middle is going to be able to clear out the whole backyard area. He has literally pushed mid three rounds in a row. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to point that out right now, and I wouldn't be surprised if he does it again. So somebody, and this is the problem, right? If somebody's doing that at this stage, it's like, well, what are you meant to do about that? Yep. The Dan King gets a double spray down. Bomb's been spotted out as well. And somebody's already, he's already just pushing T-Spawn. He's, he's going, yep. Cleared out everything. They know exactly where Caramel seems to be. B or I have a reasonable suspicion, especially with like somebody pushing all the way forward with the bomb lost at mid. You're gonna think, okay, he's either gonna be up or dark or he's gonna be at mid. So this is already not starting to look good. As you can see, the way that Tyler is still playing, it's just yeah, I don't know even what to say. It's just oh, I'm I'm someone just gonna keep running at them. 
Yeah. Oh, they've shot me. They know that I'm doing this, but I'm just going to keep doing it. It's a classic case. Like, uh, how many times have you gone into maybe a matchmaking game and you realize that the opponents are not on the same standard and you just go, I will I'm just, just going to do, I'm just going to run at them because I can do it and I'm not going to get punished. And here he goes again. Oh, it's actually, is that Dan King into lowers? Okay. Somebody this time back over towards the long. But Global, they are ready. <laughs> they are so ready for this mid-push. However, it's going to be a different route uh, chosen oh, this no. time. Dan King's going to come in on the flank. Not sure how loud he's going to come through T-Spawn here, but he has been spotted now. Pulls out the sidearm USP. Much more accuracy at the long range, but now it is going to be somebody pushing straight through, and it's just going to be shoot the targets at the moment. Global, unable to do a thing. Look and Tyloo take it to three rounds. Look, immediately, they had Glocks, and it's not a bad counter-reaction. You know that Tyloo is going to be pushing at you. With Glocks, you can't really hold one-for-one one one positions because you're just going to be overwhelmed by firepower. So you might as well try to catch someone off guard. Maybe uh, take an AK or, like, an M4 off the hands of Tyloo from someone that pushed up and try to make it work. Now out comes a buy round and a proper buy round. So let's see how they go for this one and how Tyloo is going to react accordingly. Orp's going to come out in the hands of Dan King. SMG is going to be retained by somebody. There's going to be huge presence over here at the A site. There's actually going to be three members of Tyler Ray to fight this out. Oh, and oh, Caramel able to find one lightning fast as well with a second. And that is going to be an advantage for Global. As they do go back on the guns, but somebody again is not going to be letting go of that W key. He hasn't been spotted. Deathmaker, full control of lowers, but somebody about to put himself in between a rock and a hard place as Global come forward. But they're making a whole racket now. Shoulder. He's going to be spotted. Somebody tries to find the second with the spray transfer, but Hell Ranger able to go for the trade. So Global maintained this man advantage. But you can see already Tyloo slowly starting to push and get this map control, no pun intended, and slowly just decide to shift walk up. And Deathmaker's doing the right thing. Just going to be also just hiding their presence right now, but the bomb carrier needs to be careful. Slowly clearing out back of bedroom there. Mid B split comes in with the smoke and molly. Tyloo in this 2v3. They might actually find Hellranger, but slowly. He's cleared it. Hellranger at the ready. Not going to be ready for the wall bang from Dan King, though. Dan King, he is happy to go for this in the 1v2. He's got right. a lot of utility. Like that flash, which he could throw through as well. Seemingly, it's just the great fundamentals coming out from Global here. You've got Deathmaker looking to take contact, Lightning Fast able to swing on that contact as well, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Dan King reads it like a book, but even still, he doesn't hit his shots, and that is going to be Global finding themselves a second here on the T side. Yeah, and some great stuff. Just a basic little A long take where Tyloo are unable to kind of get the one for one trades, means that they will get punished for it. And that's going to be a bit of a boost of confidence for Global. It's the case of, okay, so Tyloo really haven't fully warmed up into this just yet. So struggling a little bit with the aim right now. At the very least, the trades are across the board. Tyloo, of course, there's going to be another force up into this. Maybe there's a bit of lack of utility right now. But still able to get four M4s as well as an, as well as an AWP into battle. And it might be a slower approach into short this time around. Tyloo is taking long control at the same time as Global Esports are going to be pushing up, taking short, threatening mid off Summer. Nice flash there, straight from the back of bedroom over towards short. Like the use of utility. Tyloo, look, there's four players over towards the A site. So it's going to be very hard for Global to crack through here on short. I love this angle from somebody. This is one of my favorite ones to play as a rifler. It's very difficult for the T side to actually push him out. And normally when you're coming up to that angle, you're more scared about the A site as opposed to looking down there. I think I actually first saw Tarek using it, so. Well, out comes the first progression smoke. Surely should draw some utility off Tyloo. There's the HE grenade. And that's a very solid HE grenade coming out from somebody. Still global. Just taking so long. Very thorough in their approach to the bomb site. Just saving that utility. But is it going to be for too long? One way, not going to find them anything except somebody. Let's get spotted. Hell Ranger unable to connect. This Tyler is still yet to take any damage. Summer trying to help out in this crossfire. It's going to be slowly falling. That's going to be the B site. Retrievable. But Dan King finds one straight through the smoke. Almost a second as well. But now they're. 
little bit worried here about the push coming in through CT. Crossfire not going to stay there as Hellranger. Very worried about an aggressive play, aggressive push coming through bedroom. Great and flick. Solid shots coming out from Caramel now. Wants Ooh. some more. Another one to attack her. And he is making this look easy. Tyloo getting shredded apart right now. That's great coming out from Caramel. Definitely, this is what we were talking about. The individuals needing to step up. And just getting a couple of nice headshots against Ty Lu is always going to be helping out. As Ty Lu just seemed to be slow to start right now. It was a couple of nice rounds being played together by Ty Lu. But Global now starting to stabilize the money. Starting to stabilize the situation as well, which is always good. Finally forcing Ty Lu into a bit of an eco. And that was a really nice little execute into that B site fake as well. And Ty Lu completely fall for it. And I think Hellfighter probably saw that pistol. Seems to have lots of focus put onto that position. Pick off coming through another from Hellfighter as well. And Global, good decision. I don't know about the close smokes, but it will get him across nice and quickly. Lightning fast, just going to be flashing his way over to site now, clearing that one out as the rest of the troops do come through. Attacker just standing straight in that smoke, hoping. But he is going to dodge all as much damage as possible. And on the reload goes through, finds himself the two tap. But Caramel able to go for the trade with that AWP from Long. Solid post plant from Global as well. This should be another round on the board. Some are falling. Dan King, what can you do just with the USP and a dream in the 1v4? Yeah, probably just looking to do some damage at the stage. Maybe try to swindle away an AK-47. But Global, uh, Lightning Fast, pretty enthusiastic considering he's on 29 HP and he's charging up short. That would have been a very dangerous area. But hey, you might as well play with some confidence at the moment. <laughs> About to go ahead so far, early on in the first half. And the bomb explosion should take down... No, it doesn't take down Dan King. That's an AK retrieval. And that's why you kind of want to group together. It doesn't seem like much, but an AK-47, given in the hands of some of these Ty Lue players, it's definitely not going to be a fun time. Certainly not. Still confused as to how Tyloo is coming out of the gates so slowly. Maybe it's just the difference in ping. Maybe it's just playing on uh, a bit more than they're used to. But they seem to be starting very slow today. Global, however, they came prepared. And the scoreline is reflecting that one. Not allowing themselves to be bullied too early. Let's see what Tyler can do now. They're back on the rifles again. They've used some, like a large amount of the utility early on here. But again, Global, they're just staying silent, keeping Tyler guessing as to where they're coming from. It's a good thing as well. You don't, you have all this time to play with. You don't really necessarily need to rush into anything. And the fact that Hellfighter is able to come out nice and early on is quite nice. A summer, oh, that's a little bit of a painful mid-round push. Attacker does go down at short, but a two-for-one trade. It's always going to help out. And with the loss of mid control, he may actually tempt Hellfighter to actually start pushing up a little bit further out long, but somebody's keeping an eye on it at this moment. And really, they're just spread out across the board at this stage, which is pretty worrying. Somebody has that flash to allow him to peek. Doesn't go too wide off it, though. So, spots the T's a little bit late. Smoke on the front of sight. Nice defensive utility. But 35 seconds left is, I mean, they're just trying to prey on the fact that Tai Lu are going to be rotating in. So even if you do pick off this player at the box, it's you still are forced into a, a bit of a risky position. Ooh. Oh, they still even can't even take down Summer. 25 Ow. seconds left. It's like you can't commit through that. The bomb's at top mid. You have to go and save right now. Yes, you can get a pick at long A, but it's just too late at this stage. He could make it with the knife out, but even still, they have to get past Dan King here. He's covering the cross. There's nothing they can really do. Smoke in the last couple of seconds, but Dan King might just be able to stop this one up on site. Caramel goes. He has to commit to the plant now, but Dan King denies it just on the last second of that plant. And Tyloo, bring it back to 4v4 now. And that round is just kind of global. It's, it's the case of just starting to panic a little bit. All they needed to do is commit together that situation. Just back one of your players just to take the entries. 
come in in unison. That's where their strength lied in the previous round, where they took that execute victory against Tai Lu, was when they, all right, let's go do this fake, then let's go hit together and trade each other out. No trade potential there. Even though they did get the kills that they needed, they just couldn't get the objective in time. They were two split off, and even if that CT player pushing out would have been able to take down one, the bomb carrier still would have been denied at the end of the day. It was a, it would have been a 50-50. Now out comes a delayed long take. Whoa. Thought there was more damage coming from those grenades. Solid setup as well. Attacker. I'm gonna hold the line there in to bedroom. No, somebody over ambitious. Just clear that ball quickly. Fighter up on top is going to be spotted, but somebody not going to overstay his welcome. And that flash allowing Hell Ranger to make his way into short. But Dan King posted at the ready on this line as well. If no one comes through. Oh, Hell Ranger <laughs> will. But the cover of the Molly was just enough to stop him from shooting. And I like this now that Global show all this presence over maybe at this bedroom area. Even if Hellfighter goes down at the stage, whoa, it just goes down straight through the smoke. It's still not going to be an indication that they're actually hitting the B bomb site. A nice entry from Deathmaker, however, slowly still fighting from double stackers, just doing so much work at the moment. Hell Ranger wants to try to deny the rotation, but Caramel is going to be left all on his lonesome, and it's going to be slowly solo playing that one on the B site. Big hold able to get a bit of redemption. Summer came in with the flash, not aware that they could already be out of the tunnels. There it is, a lead found by Tyloo, five to four. Yeah, a bit of an eco that has to be taken by Global Esports as well. Don't want to be purchasing too much here, given the fact that the loss bonus next round will allow them the AKs and utility again. So it could just be a case of Tyloo recognizing this and running at them. But if Global's able to do a bit more damage to the CT side economy, it could definitely equalize and make this round, uh, make this half pretty equal. But we've seen this so many times where a team starts off so promisingly as well. They get like four or five rounds and then Tyloo kind of just closes out the rest of the half. They kind of figure out the tricks that Global would use. That's unfortunate for Lightning Fast. It wasn't even him being aimed at. And they're going to be flooding onto Dan King. Bit of a shooting gallery, I reckon, with Glocks, but they're doing some good damage right now. Yeah, nice pink, but more needs to be done as somebody tries to deny the push up elbow. Dan King misses it. Inopportune flick. It's going to be the bomb going down. So, minor victories for Global. Unfortunately, Ty Lu not going to be losing a single life. So, Global, even though they did get that bomb plant, they haven't done any damage to Ty Lu's economy at all. And that's going to continue to build as we do head forward into round number 11 now. Tyloo starting, as you mentioned, to figure out the flow of Global's play. And you can see just instantly after they went, okay, maybe we can't just run at these guys because the way that Global pl is playing, it's actually very, very good at countering just individual players running at them. Mm. They just go, all right, we'll just play our standard default setup. Nothing too special coming out from Tyloo at this stage. There's nothing dramatic like, oh, we're going to send four people over to the A bomb site every single round or we're just going to boost up short and take it every single time. Slow and steady at the moment. Again, just looking to set up the round. This time, Deathmaker making sure there was no swinging somebody at mid this time. That has to be a really good flashbang coming out from that long playoff, but somebody just turns from it. One for one. Attackers looking to push forward, but some great entries coming out from Lightning Fast. He's doing a really good job there on the rifle. This can be the opportunity for Global to honestly have an A site split, and they just need to make sure they can trade out Dan King as he's going to go on the aggression. So. so this is the part where I'd be like, Hellfighter, there is no reason why you should be still lurking at the B bomb site. You need to come back now, unless we're going for a B site split. But the way that the bomb's angled, the way that it's not moving, can't be staying there. Needs to start making a move sooner rather than later. Tyloo all going to be rotating across smoke to allow Summer onto the A ramp. And he's just going to try and buy as much time as possible. Edging forward, Caramel has no one here to trade that smoke. Going to be just enough. Great utility coming in. And Summer almost finds three, but it's going to be lightning fast to find a third of his own. But he has to do the rest single-handedly, and he's not going to be able to get past slowly there. Posted with the Krieg. We do see Tyloo pick up another in a row and stretch that lead out to three. Yep, Global can get a couple of pistols, though. 
Maybe try something fast. Maybe try contesting this long control again. Definitely did look a little bit weaker when Global actually had the right set of utility and Tyloo couldn't get the members there. Maybe it's time to try a bit of a mid to B split. So once again, Global, they have a lot of nice utility use. They can get this map control, but the problem is, is just Tyloo are unable to kind of break this with a couple of flashbangs, a couple of pushes. And you can see, once again, somebody's just straight up there through mid. And he doesn't care that he's been spotted. He's just still swinging and fighting at the moment. Finally traded out. Nice little shot from Hellranger. But Ty Lu is just picking up the pace. They've just gone, ooh, pistols. Hellranger gets spotted and tagged down to about half HP as he's on an adventure of his own. You've got Hellfighter trying to come back in from the A site. And he's got a big opportunity here to dish out some damage for free. Summer, knife out. Going to go down to the two tap. Hellfire, spamming away. Is he going to be ready for Dan King? He certainly is. And King survives for now. Pack is still in this location at the moment. It's all down to timing at the moment. That's unfortunate. But this is actually a big opportunity for maybe Hell Ranger to sneak his way through into the B bomb site, as Tyler would have reasonable suspicions that it could potentially be A. Oh, great okay. shots coming out from Hell Ranger on this Eagle. Dan King certainly ready for that one. Misses the wall bang though, and that's going to be a bomb plant if Hell Ranger goes straight for it. Hit. Rotations coming oh. through. Oh, <laughs> you gotta hit those, brother. Hell Ranger. Just gives Tyloo the handicap, does a bit of extra damage to himself for free, and he's gonna take the one on two. Confidence being displayed, but unfortunately, Tyloo shuts him down, and that's gonna be no bomb plant, no extra money in the bank. But even so, Global still able to get a very healthy buy here in at two round number 13. Yeah, loss bonus is actually at maximum capacity at the moment. Not a bad time for a tactical timeout coming into the last four rounds of the half as well. Or well, three rounds, should I say. Has been actually a relatively quick half so far, I must say. Yeah, feels like it's gone lightning quick, considering Global have gone for so many late round approaches. So, not a bad performance, honestly, from Global so far. It's very solid. Like, I, I can't really complain about the approach they have. It's just, once again, you're versing a very, very strong opponent. I don't think there's any shame in how Global have gotten these rounds. I don't think they've been... I don't think some of the rounds have been scrappy. They've been very well disciplined. They've been quite good on some of their approaches. Maybe a little bit, I guess, not confident enough to take the initiative sometimes when they should. And maybe a little bit too split up. But here's some initiative straight out through long. That's not going too well already. Deathmaker and Hellranger. Looks like they're going to be on death's door. Sent to the grave by attacker and slowly. And that's going to be a nice two-man advantage for Tyloo as we do see a rotation. Global calling the audible. Sending it straight back through mid. But well, there's a three-man crossfire at this stage. And... Uh, Three man crossfire just decides to push forward from Tai Lube. This is just getting starting to get a, a bit more painful right now. So they're gonna have to maybe buy a couple of pistols here. Like I said, once again, loss bone is completely intact at the moment for Global. Another timeout, but I don't think this is the I don't even know what approach you'd like to take as global at this stage. I, this is the part where last time I was like, all right, have a good chat about what you want to do for the rest of your half, where you want to try and probe. So as soon as your your long take doesn't work out, where are you going to go now here? Maybe a B split? Maybe that short to B fake again that you tried last time? That definitely works. There's been a few tricky strats that Global are trying to throw in there. But Tyloo, they don't really fall for it. it. It's not the fact that they're falling for it. They just have solid anchors on both sides that are able just to hold it down for long enough for the rotations to come through. And sometimes not even needing those rotations. Slowly there over on the B site, just dishing out damage from double blocks. And Global, they just don't have the aim. They don't have the answer really to get past him. Maybe they just need to throw a few more flashes. Maybe just molly out the position if they have one of those set up. But a lot of the time they're just... I don't know. It's, it's just the answer's not being found at the moment. Um, somebody's not going to even give them an inch to find those answers. What was that? Beautiful aim. Somebody. No respect being shown. Deathmaker. Finds a nice headshot onto Attacker, who was trying to catch him off guard there. It's a bit unfortunate. The flashbang from Dan King actually caught, copped his opponent a lot harder. And... Ooh. 
some good clearing of angles, some nice flashbangs as well. So Global actually coming out on top of some of these aim deals at the moment. And Kinko looking to push up, Deathmaker. He was hungry. Maybe not hungry enough. You see that once again, slowly he's just pushed up into upper dark and he's completely cleared it out with 45 seconds left after he backs out into the B bomb site. It's going to be quite confident actually to allow somebody to float back here to the short area. I think for global best decision right now is honestly to throw this B site execute, not to come up through short. Too many unknowns at this moment. And this is the correct call, which is grouping up, keeping silent. Out comes the smoke. Slowly he's going to hear this, but that's not going to obscure Dan King's vision, so they have to drop the lower smoke as well. Out they come now into Slowly's crosshairs, oh. and they're just not going to trade each other out. That's just some individual brilliance, and Dan King's going to get caught off guard by the fact that Deathmaker is lurking. There's still not enough. 13 seconds left. You've got to get the bomb, mate. Underarms that flash, but it's not quite enough, and he's going to be spotted. He at least knows the position of the two final CTs. But even so, slowly finds himself the quad kill with a dominant hold there on B ramp. The man is a machine right now, just tapping heads left, right, and center. And that's the problem. It's like, I love the approach from Global Esports. So they forget the most integral part at the moment, which is just they have to individually trade out. They know exactly where Slowly is, but individually, Slowly just stood up and just took three of them down. All one-on-one -on -one aim deals. No utility backing them up this time around. And it's just they do so many good steps, and it can be undone because... He was versing a stronger opponent at this stage. And what was such a promising start, as I was saying earlier on, has kind of petered off into a bit of a lackluster finish, potentially, as somebody is just pushing forward again, because he's starting to get confident. Slowly he's on the other side pushing forward. They're just trying to crunch them right now. We'll flash out middle, and it's just enough to get through summer as well. Slowly still here on the flank. He's managed to catch the time in Hellranger, has been dealt with, but they know, they realize that's going to be the B anchor, so B should be free for the moment. Dan King trying to find something through the smoke will not connect. Great utility usage just to make sure that the bomb plant will go down, but it's a 3v3 for the retake. Tyloo, can they crack them in the post plant? Very difficult to actually take this B upper dark area again. So they actually just crab walking in, but slowly is able to take one and still stay alive. Caramel pushing forward. Should be able to get this kill. So good trades coming out, but now that CETs at least know where one is. Oh, Molly. Perfect time on that one. Smoke towards tons, though. But Den King and the attacker have to both come through the doors. Hellfighter will be flashed into fight, missed the opportunity, will wrangle it back as Dan King now left in the one on two, just needs to land a couple of bullets, and that bomb is not going to be planted for Caramel, however, Dan King, he's run out of time, Caramel not showing face early enough there, and Global will keep it to a 10-5 half, so there is a chance as we head into the second, Tyloo leading by five, but ladies and gentlemen, we are going to a halftime break, don't go anywhere.
back to DreamHack Open Summer for the Asian region. We do have Tyloo currently leading Global Esports by five rounds as they do head into the T side. And I'm excited to see what Global have for us on the defense because they had a pretty solid first half considering their opponents here. Yeah, I mean, a couple of shining lights. I mean, Caramel definitely looking pretty good on the AWP and a couple of good rounds where you could see that Global had the right idea on the T side, were able to make some good trades and really play some smart post plants as well. But the problem is, once again, individually, it's just Hailu that are just fragging at this stage. And you can have some nice little executes. Now you've got to step up against the firepower of Hailu that are running against you. Some nice flashbangs, but none of these shots are landing. How is Lightning Fast still alive? Some really solid counter utility coming through, but it was just a couple too many whiffs. Through the cracks there as well. So it is going to be Hellfighter and oh Caramel will just Hellfighter now in a 1v4 against the world. And Tyloo, they've completely forgotten the bomb there over towards bedroom. But even still, Hellfighter, he's going to be... <laughs> Somebody hits no. him with the jumpy TZ. <laughs> what a way to start the second half. Oh, no, stop. You can't do this, Tyloo. <laughs> This is, this is like my biggest fear. This is like the part where Tyler go, all right, we're on the T side now. We can just run at people and just kind of do what we want. And that was just a classic somebody. I don't know if we got a highlight of that or maybe the, like the second replay machine or something, but I want to confirm that was actually a mid-air shot because if it was, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I, would, I would love a replay if we have one. Anyway, it is round at number 17 and global. They have not gone for the force fight. Staying disciplined and just on the pistols. <laughs> Someone is just running at them. Uh oh. He's just farming up the HLTV rating. They know exactly what Deathmaker is. They're just, they don't even, they're not even worrying about the plant. They just want to kill him. And there it is. Dan King comes in on the flank. It's going to be Caramel spotted as well. Tyloo, they are not interested in planting the bomb. So this is a difference in mentality a lot of the time. Like you see maybe a team in, in terms of the T side, they go, all right, let's get AKs, let's get some scouts, let's get all these things. Here, right, we, go. here we are. Yes. Oh, was... get out. <laughs> oh. Get out of here. The two tap or the three tap, doesn't matter how you put <laughs> it. Either way, just not on. Somebody, not allowed. Oh, bring it back to my original point. Normally you see that teams go for Mac 10s and maybe like utility and everything. The fact that Tyler has just gone for rifles tells you exactly what mentality they're in. Let's just take aim deals and just win it by fighting it. Great nade attack off. Solid attempt, but there was a box in the way as Hellranger, Deathmaker, both going to be mopped up already. But they seem to expect Hellfighter here in the corner. Looks like it is just going to be the three-man swing. Dan King goes in. And Hellfighter, you are not allowed to whiff those. You have to get at least one given that situation. And after the four players at long being spotted, you can see Tyloot. They are just committing to the A site. They've already got full short control. Somebody, he's held W and again is just running at the defense. There is just no holds barred here tonight. Not against Global. Tyloot, they want to put an end to the match shortly. Yep, just once again, it's just W key right now from Tyloo. This is my biggest fear, like when Global were on the T side, they, mm. they could stop it. Excellent. Now you got to stop it that Tyloo, they're encouraged to do it right now. And the problem is, is just trying to set up these crossfires, trying to trying to individually match just the raw firepower of Tyloo. You can see there's a clear difference at the moment. And I think that's just the, the tail of this map. Great start from Global as Tyloo were kind of like settling in, getting their aim warmed up and whatnot. And now that Tyloo are fully warmed up, ready to play, they're just feeling very confident pushing forward. Out comes the push. That's a nice little nade. And out comes the flashbang as well. But the flashbang's not deep enough. Oh, Dan King at least able to go for the trade. So we are going to see Tyloo finally start to lose some numbers. But somebody again just finds him in CT spawn before the rounds. Even really begun 20 seconds in, and he's already on the other side of the map, just chasing down the final kill. Doesn't really want to lose that AK, but he does. Hellranger fights for his life. Does he expect Dan King right behind him? Surely at this point you have to. And Dan King will have his number this time. Tyloo two away from taking map number one. And this is what I was expecting. This is what I thought Tyloo would have done from the start of the map. But obviously now that they're on the T side, you mentioned it. They're just being enabled, and somebody, I have never seen someone get into CT spawn so damn quickly. Yeah, I mean, he's done the same thing, though, in the last three to four rounds. From the <laughs> yeah. pistol, from the buy round, it's like, I feel like it's like, okay, maybe in the second round when he's holding against pistols, he didn't push that fast down. But uh, every single round afterwards, just been, once again, just the pace that's coming out from Tai Lu at this moment in time, just lightning fast and dancing, trying to find the timing as well, backed up. That's something that you haven't seen from Tai Lu previously, is the backup. A smoke to cover Dan King, the fact that he can try to take maybe a pick. Attacker tries to go in maybe a little bit too aggressively over at B. 
And it's good to see this double up set up, reaping some dividends nice and early on for Global. Good push coming out from Caramel as well to get this control of Bedroom. That will at least give them some information, but that's going to be a long rotation from Caramel back towards the B site, and that's where Tyloo have focused their efforts at the moment, but Deathmaker finally able to utilize the AWP hit. Over from the back of Platt, Tyloo not going to be giving it a third attempt to peak the same line. Hellfighter, what can he get done? Not ready for slowly. He's come around the corner, swinging Dan King as well. The no, other eight player taken. No, can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> he just dropped into CT. <laughs> and hits the wall bang on a Deathmaker as well. Second man comes through. That's going to be lightning fast. But it looks like Global might just be all done and dusted for the round. However, it all relies on Caramel finding the pick from long. Double rotation coming up from short, but Caramel's going to go down. Somebody's going to keep swinging in so slowly as well. <laughs> Lightning fast. Might just decide to back out and save, but Dan King still pushing forward and might just pick off Lightning fast. Nothing saved over going into the final round. Very quick T side, I, I will say. Well, Some would say Lightning fast. We just got back from the break. And we're going to go to another got, one in a second. You got G'd up so hard by the push-ups. And it's just like, I feel like right now, it's just you're probably more G'd up for chin-ups at this stage. Because <laughs> that's kind of like what Tyler were doing. It's just, they just bench press global. Let's be realistic. It feels like that. They've come Especially in. in this T side. Like, it's... None of this ORM. They're just going for 16 reps. And looking to go for the next set, which will be played over on Mirage. For now, attacker again down middle. And Tyler has fully realized Global are doing nothing to stop them running down suicide, running down mid. And they are taking full advantage of this one. Soul Ranger, not going to be ready for the peak. But that's the thing. On a high ping, it's very hard to hold when you're not being proactive about checking the angles, jiggling. It's just not going to work out for you. So you can't hold the line, especially against players that are as sharp as Ty Lu. And you can see it working out here this round for Global. They have a one-man advantage, but Summer's still ready and fighting. Caramel not realizing the position of Summer. Lightning fast, tries to go for the trade. He's dropped the ball, and it's all up to Deathmaker. They know exactly where he is. They've heard him drop to lowers now. I think they might suspect that he's still in CT, but eventually they're going to post up on a different angle, surely. Oh, Dan King might have dropped that a little bit late. If Deathmaker's able to push through at the right time, but he's actually backed out. If he actually made a decision to push forward, that would have been a much more winnable round. Now he has to hit an insane shot onto Summer. And there it is, Summer with so much time to play with there. It is going to be 16 to 5 for map number one. Tyloo not dropping around in the second half. And they are going to be going over to Mirage, smiling. We'll see you shortly, ladies and gents.